always play uh, really well on the home floor. Um, they're a team that, that really fights. And, you know, it all starts with, uh, with Wall and Beal. Um, their uh, backcourt is very strong, and all those guys play off of uh, play off of them. So, um, you know, we can play you know, last night at home. Um, you know, had to get our, our energy and, and spirits up to, to, to play this game tonight. We, we kept it close, and I think it was a tie ball game through three quarters, and then we just had to make plays the last uh, you know five or six minutes, and we did that on both sides of the ball. Kev Channing told me at half that you guys just needed to drink a little bit more coffee. <laughs> and of course, the defense does step up there in the second. What do you like most about that end of the floor? Um, just that, I mean, Mr. Make, I mean, there was a, a number of shots for us tonight that um, almost uncharacteristic uncharacteristically didn't fall for us. So on that side of the ball, we were able to get stops. We were able to load up to the ball, switch when we needed to, had our schemes down. And, um, you know, that carried on throughout, uh, especially in that, la in that last quarter. That was, that was big for us. And, um, we made a lot of shots, even though they made it very tough on them. And you know, that's all you can ask for, especially on the, the second night of back-to-back. When you guys mobbed JR about the, from the, at the steal, what, what was that like? It was a like? play of the game. Yeah. That was, a, that was a, I mean, a hell of a play from JR. Um, and I think that was, uh, I'm not going to say they laid down after that, but that was a, uh, a big moment for us where we felt like we pretty much took control of the game. And um, we, you know, we damn near put it out of reach. So that was a, a really a, a, a huge play from, uh, from JR. And um, you know, we love seeing that from him. Well, I mean, what, what does it say about your team? You know, I mean, he's not scoring like he usually does. He's still finding ways. Is that what it means to you, kind of? Absolutely. And yeah. he's, uh, over the last few years, become one of the, the better um, two-way players in this league. And you know, he's a guy that can get super hot, put up a bunch of numbers for you on the offensive end. But there's a lot of stuff that, that he does that uh, doesn't always show up in the stat sheet. But that was a, a heck of a, a play from him at the end. LeBron said he had a bad game tonight. If, if that's a bad game for LeBron, can you live with it? Yes. If that's a bad game, then. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, exactly. But how important, you know, on a night when he's not shooting that well, how many other things does he do? Like, like yeah, he's, uh, I mean, another triple double. Um, I mean, what, 15, 16 assists, same, you know, same number of rebounds. I mean, he just affects the game in so many ways and, um, you know, makes a lot of plays for, for other guys, too. So he's just, you know, setting us up and, and getting us into our spots. And, you know, that's what he does as our leader. So, like the last four minutes, rather than Gortat, they had Mike Scott on the floor. Do you guys feel like that's something you kind of, you guys dictated that move, kind of with your spacing? Uh, in some ways. I mean, it's, um, I think, just in the way that, that you know, Mr. Meg, we were getting up and down the floor. Um, and we used that to our advantage. So I think Scott was, um, uh, and has been playing well, and you know, they wanted him out there for for spacing and a guy that could, uh, you know, kind of uh, you know, switch and, and run their schemes. Whether it was, you know, really one through five, he can guard. So um, I think that was something they were looking for. But we were able to to make him pay just by uh, uh, running our sets.